Today, I'm clapped out. Jesus. Yeah, the car you all been asking for, but we're not working on that one today. Oh, we're not working on that one today. We're working on this one. You guess we're this guy? Well, there's a new guy that owns it now. It's this guy with his face full of food. This is Nick, and this is, oh, man. This is the love of my life. Me and this car have a very long history. If you guys have paid attention to the channel, well, you know this car used to belong to Josh, and then our friend Nick purchased the car. But uh, we're missing some stuff because it's going through, well, this is a whole bunch of Japanese stuff right here, but it's going through a little bit of changes and we got a fresh bullet that we're gonna be putting in this bad girl today. Ooh. All right, we have a Thompson Motorsports 370 cubic inch short block. But today is prep day. We're going to finish off the short block and make it a long block by the end of the day, courtesy of some goodies from the homies over here at BTR. This is their new Stage 3 Version 2 Twin Turbo Cam. And if you've never heard the Twin Turbo Cams from BTR, um, well, the chop rating is, is pretty good. This thing to be topped off to, we got some AFR heads and a whole bunch of other stuff going on this thing. It still has the same Garrett turbos it had before. 66 millimeter turbos, but Nick has since added, ooh, here we go. That is a sequential. So this thing can bang gears like a rally car. So as soon as we get this thing up and running, we're gonna get it strapped down on the rollers, lay down four digits of horsepower, and then we're gonna go out and do some burnouts, right? That's the plan? Yeah, test that driveway. Yes. Hey, hey! You better not. It's a whole lot of engraving going on here between Thompson and AFR, and then we got Chris Cornell in the background, this guy over here, and this bitch. I mean, <laughs> hey! Yeah, if you're gonna fart, Nick, you're gonna fart when the camera's on. Don't I fart. missed it. Yeah, dude. All right, well, heads are on, and we're doing the Torquey McTorkelson, and then, uh, dude, stinks. All right, Nicholas is gonna polish and rub on his intake here for a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna head back north, but for the most part, this motor is donezo. Uh, we were missing the crank gear, but he has a how-to checklist, so even Nick couldn't this up somehow i will but he's gonna try what are we doing it's been a couple of weeks get my hands on the training <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna help guide this uh yeah. get, the, get the shaft in the hole all right take a good look at it because that's the last time you're gonna see that monster clutch is shout out to steve addison uh and we're slotting in the sequential gearbox which looks remarkably like a t56 and motor's in now. Nick's been working hard and had it. And we're gonna slam this thing in here, wrap up a couple more things. So you can see, got some wiring. And then uh, we'll have oil pressure here momentarily. All right, pretty much everything under here. A few things to zip tie, but for the most part, everything underneath here is uh, wrapped up. So we're gonna lower the car down. We're gonna slap the intake on, put the remainder of the turbo kit on. And before I roll out here today, we will have some oil pressure and fire this thing up. A uh, couple of issues with the alternator. We realized that the alignment, which was a issue that has plagued the car with the belt alignment, um, we think we figured that out. Unfortunately, we do not have the correct apparatus here to fix it. Um, basically, I'm not really entirely sure what this bracket came off of, uh, but it does not line up with F body alignment, which is what the balancer is. For those of you who don't know, there are three basic LS balancers. There's truck, F body, and Corvette. Uh, if you go over to ICT Billet's website, they will line all that out for you and they lay it all out on like, hey, this is what you got. Here's how to measure for it. Uh, so what we have is F body alignment and Nick is going to be getting an actual F body <coughs> alternator and bracket. And that should prevent this thing from chucking more belts off in the future. But he's waiting for me to stop videoing so we can lower the car I'm down. Excited, and, man. Yeah, here we go. he's the answer. Let's go. <laughs> Nightmare, man. <laughs> Third right. engine in two years. So what we're doing, 
right now we're just gonna do I want to make sure that I have the cam sensor correct I think I may have to flip the pins on it but we're just gonna crank it injectors coils and everything are all on the hook so you're not gonna get any fire but go ahead and hit it and see if we got RPM okay let's do this so it said so I stall in sinking and we went from the cam sensor in the back to an LS2 style up front here so oftentimes you have to flip these sometimes I don't know, I always like to check first because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Now we're just gonna flip the wires. Let's just flip the wires, we'll be back. <laughs> pressure slight exhaust leak we expected that this turbo over here and everything's really hard to mount and kind of tweak so that coming right here but all in all oh. Death, but that's it. I'm All right, I said to be continued, and uh, we are continuing it, but we are inside of my trailer, which is inside of Nick over there getting the boost juice. But we got a little bit of a problem. I was just mobbing down I-95, doing about 80 miles an hour, and I went from right there to right here and uh, then this happened. With a little bit of a click in the steering wheel and then it went limp and then, yeah. So the Bluetooth steering connection doesn't work so well. I'm gonna go inside and buy a lottery ticket because I feel pretty lucky that um, this thing is still shiny side up and I'm still walking. In the arms of an angel Jesus, look at this A long bed Larry over here, barely even fits on the truck. All right, we just got here to Paul My truck's still broken, guys. the to be continued has continued we are here at paul powell performance here in uh, i don't know it's outside of rocking out Battleboro, wherever somewhere in north carolina but the camaro is ready to go and paul is going to update some firmware nick is over here shitting bricks rex already made four digit power today 
I wasn't here because I drive a huge piece of shiitake mushroom Dodge and I had to spend more time fighting with Triple A to try to get here than actually being here for the people that are important to me. Rex, you're important to me, just so you know. I hear you. Thank you. I'll so, you. <laughs> we're going to update some firmware and then we're going to start making some power poles and see what happens. I'm nervous. How are you feeling right now? I'm nervous. Why? <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's got yeah. oil pressure. Yeah. For now. What can go wrong? Oh, what, could possibly, what could possibly go wrong? You really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <let's> <laughs> we can show you. Yeah. <laughs> This sequential shipping. noise going on so we made 
676 horsepower on pump, 93 octane, 370 cubic inches, a uh, little bit of dome pressure on the thing. So now what we're going to do is, well, we've drained all the pump gas out of it. We filled it with Sheets Finest E85, the Lord's Fuel. We're gonna drop back to the wastegate. We're going to restart from the beginning because, well, it's pretty simple to do. But um, you should see four digit horsepower here within, uh, how many, how many pulls? Five or six pulls. About five or six pulls. So here we go. Pull number one. Right, if I haven't said so already, we're doing E85 poles. This is going to be 15 pounds on the dome. Last pass was 723. We should be well north of 800 on this one. Boost cut. The safeties are working. There was, ooh, dang, see how bright that is? That's my future dog. So we are going to make a couple more passes. We are chasing a four digit power number, which should be easily achievable even on this heartbreaker of a dyno. I think we're within one or two poles of getting there. Here we go. Let's see. But it laid over real hard.
and 11, baby. All right, it is uh, a little dirty camera time. It's also getting late. Mr. Paul Powell, Spirit of Drag Week winner, dove in head first to help me fix my piece of junk truck. See by the grass all over this man's back and been laying in the dirt. So we're going to do one more. I don't, I don't know what we call it, a hero pull, but the car already made four digit horsepower. So we've let it cool down for quite a bit. No other changes. We're just going to let it rip, see what it does. Nice, cool air. Sun's gone down. The temperature's great. The motor's cool. This should be kind of sporty. I mean, if that's not repeatability, I don't know what it is. 10-11, under some heat, 10-16. There you go, baby. All right, that is a wrap. I got about a three hour drive home with a very hastily repaired truck with about a quarter million dollars of Camaro towing behind me. What could possibly go wrong? At least it looks good. Woo! Here we go. Yo, hey man, we were just on the phone a minute ago, and I just called you back, and I assume that you just frisbee golfed your phone into traffic because there's no other reason that you wouldn't just pick up the phone right after I called you back. We were talking. I said I'll call you right back. It was three minutes and 32 seconds, and you don't answer. So again, if you're frothing with your phone like an asshole, it makes sense. If not, I hope you have a phone shoved up your ass, and that's why I hope I hope you're pegging yourself with your cell phone. Pick up the phone, dick. You dick.